neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. The Xenobot is a new class of artifact, a living, programmable organism. You are watching Disrupt. I'm excited to be with you all today. For years, we've used metal skeletons to house our robotic counterparts. And while this provides a great assistant to get the groceries or do your taxes, I'm looking at you, Jim. <laughs> I'm confident this next step in our robotic lineup will change the way we relate to our electric brethren. It all began with a breakthrough in robotics 50 years ago. A team at the University of Vermont have created the world's first living organic robot that can carry out a specific mission that we program it to accomplish. The little guys are called Xenobots, and they have no metals or electricity to power. In fact, they run entirely off of living cells scraped from African clawed frogs. There are two cells that make these things up, passive skin cells and active heart cells. These rules of negative and positive are fed into a supercomputer where thousands of random designs are created to find the most optimized way for the organism to move forward. From there, the best designs are sent to the bio team where they use it as a template to build the little thing you see now, coming in at about 0.04 inches or one millimeter. The heart cells aid forward movement. The skin cells hold everything together. And they're powered by eating protein deposits, which allow it to regenerate and self repair, much like our own bodies. According to the team, future applications may include gathering microplastics in the ocean, traveling in arteries to scrape out black, carrying medicine to specific areas in human or animal bodies. Once the Xenobot is done with its job, it then dies and simply becomes dead skin cells and continues on in the long circle of life. Using the groundwork laid by the Xenobots in 2020, I'm happy to announce the work our wonderful team at Unicorp have been working on. Me. Everything, from my neck downwards, from bone marrow to skin cells, is entirely created by Unicorp. A breakthrough in human longevity, a triumph over the limits of existence. We call it New You. New You. Last week, I asked you, what are some ways AI may benefit artistic forms of expression? Matt Johnston said, AI can be used to give artists a template to work from. We'd give it a description of a specific visual and or audible environment, and we'd either add to it or use a new idea, learn from it. This already exists for a lot of things on a basic level, but the more detail we can ask from AI, the more we artists can benefit. I Play Games said, Sometimes a piece of art calls for entropy, a bit of natural physics interaction, but humans have biases, and sometimes we can't reproduce that convincingly without a lot of extra effort. Casey Combs says, I believe that AI may help introduce the element of theme. If an artist is seeking a particular theme in their work, the AI can identify the theme and contribute with other thematic material. Thanks for the answers, guys. This week's question, 